Hey folks, welcome to my new series of Let's Plays, Witcher 3. We finished it, of course, about two years ago, but um, I got the new DLCs. Well, they're not new anymore. The Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine. So I thought after doing Frozen Wilds for Horizon Zero Dawn, I wanted to go down back and play some Geralt. I have not played Geralt in a while, and I've just read a couple of the books, which was really awesome as well. So we're going to get into this. First, we are at a Jello alert level zero and a ghost alert level zero. Jello is sick as a dog in the bedroom. So, so I pretty much have the day to play. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do. So if you look, we have, by the way, the interface has changed a bit, so I'm still getting used to that. But um, we have two types of missions. We have Hearts of Stone, which starts with evil soft first touches, and Envoys and Wine Boys, Novigrad, which is the blood and wine. We're going to do Hearts of Stone first, and that's because my understanding is this is just a quest. It's a, it's a larger quest, DLC to level, but it's it's not as big, and it's also lower level. I'm 35th. That's 32nd, so it gives me a three-level three, a three level advantage. Um, then we got down here, Blood and Wine, and that is a whole new area, I believe. Like it, It's a big expansion, so we're going to go with the smaller one first. Um, we're going to do this. Oh, and... So we're gonna do the missions, and I'm gonna to try to film, you know, half an hour or so, or if I can film a whole mission, a whole mission can fit within like a, like 40 minutes. I'll try to film it, and then if I have to cut it into two, I will. So the Hearts of Stone, I'm gonna do side missions as they come up, because I found out I lost a lot of side quests that I had put off when I appeared after the game ended, when I finished the campaign, they all ended. They just said, you know, you, you failed this quest. So we're going to do side quests as they come up. I think we'll just keep on them as we go. So why don't we get going with this? We'll start. When Geralt later told me the story, which began at the Seven Cats in Notice Board, he mentioned he'd felt drawn to that place, as if some strange, undefined force wanted him to appear there on that day and at that time. I didn't give this remark a second thought until I heard the tale to its conclusion, and I realized its beginning had been no accident. Now that's of course um, Dandelion, his um, sidekick bard. So here we are. Um, I kind of went through. Oh, and I looked at this equipment. We, I, I updated some of the stuff because I'd gotten a few weapons at the end of the last battle. So I updated to um, have Karen, the silver sword. That is a ton of damage. And then I have the Ste the Skellig Long Sword, which is just a steel sword, does really good. Doesn't have a lot of the special abilities of the other sword I had, which I'm not sure. I'm still kind of debating. It's 61 less damage, but it had a little bit more, like crit had critical hit chance and armor piercing. But I think we're gonna go with this for now. We're gonna see how it is. So I think what I do need to do is maybe put those extra swords in my little container here, because I forgot that I could stash this stuff. Let's do that. Let's um, go down here, stash everything I don't need because I end up running out of space all the time. That's just what happens because I pick up everything. So we're gonna get rid of Ursine armor. Is that Ursine boots? Ooh, you know what we need to do? I need to change gloves because evidently my gloves have more armor. So we're gonna Go back here now that I'm away from that. Go to my inventory. And then I didn't realize it. So the cool thing about this is even though I'm, they've changed it slightly, so I'm still relearning the interface. Like if you do this, you can compare them. Um, I was going to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Oh, shoot. I almost do want those instead. Um... This is damage of monsters, elemental, burning, slashing, and bludgeoning, but it gives me more general armor. We're gonna go with the more general armor for right now. I might, on the downtime, I might play around with his outfit a little bit because I do think there's probably some advantages I'm missing. So, oh, so what we're gonna need to do is go to world map. So we need to go to the seven, oh, don't, yes. I know, oh, it is a little different though. I should have probably read that, but I won't. <laughs> We have to go to Novigrad, and then we're going to have to go to wherever the marking is for the seven cats. Seven cats. I vaguely remember it. Come on, seven cats. Oh, that's right. The arrow will point me to it. So straight up, seven cats in. So that's where we're going to go. I'm going to see you there, folks, when we get there. 
All right, we are outside. We're gonna head over there for, well, ran right past it, ran right past it. Head right over. We do that by select it. Once again, it's gonna do the map thing. Go to Novograd. And then go down here to the seven cats. All right, here we are at the seven cats. Do I need to go into the bar? Like, we have not been in the bar since the beginning of the last game. Maybe I can't. Can I go in? Can I go in? I just want to take a quick Why, look around. Wine, damn it. Good food, good drink, and good fun. Okay, so no, we're good. We're good. So let's go out to the board, I guess. Let's read what they got for us. Wanted. Cradle, used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Who writes these notices? Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witch it would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for old Geard von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. All right, so let's... Well, whoa, there's one here. Let's pick that up. That's Hildesir Geralt of Rivia, the bridge, his crest. Geralt of Rivia. Meant to be has for our merciful sovereign, her illustrious great Anna, Anna Henrietta. We have journeyed to the northern realms to lay before you our mission. A terrible monster has appeared in the Duchy of Toussaint, a beast which has committed heinous acts against her grace's subjects. One of the most famous among witches is the ability to destroy the beast. Thus, we humbly beseech you to appear in the village of Holloway, where we shall await you in full hope that you will die and to hear our woes and liberate our land from the clutches of fear. Your humble servants, Sirs Palmerin de La Fon and Milton de Perec, Peran, Knights of the Service for Grace and Duchy. I'm wondering if that's for wine and blood. However, we will take it though. However, here it is, contract, monster and source. Let it be known that Olgird von Everick shall pay a generous reward in gold, jewels, and movable goods, subject to negotiation, to any man who descends into the Oxenfurt sewers and kills the beach which has infested them and taken the murdering innocent. With an especial predilection for young maids, the task is best suited for the battle-hardened individual, a soldier, or possibly a witcher who will not run at the sight of drowners, for the sewers are chock full of such nuisances. For more information, inquire the Garen Estate to the northeast of Novograd. Ask for Olgird von Everick. All right, so we got him. Go see Olgird von Eric. I will see that. I'll be right back, guys. All right, so let me um, continue with the next paragraph that Dandelion wrote. And it began like this. One day, Geralt arrived at the Seven Cats Inn in search of the next contract. He perused the notices hanging there, yet found none to be of much interest was about to go on his way when a man came to nail new parchment to the board. The notice denounced a certain Olgird von Everick, residing in a nearby Garen estate, was looking for someone to kill a dangerous monster lurking in Oxenfurt sewers. Sounds like a job for me, thought Geralt, and he set off to see this Olgird and learn more about the contract. Little did he know about the beginning of a great adventure, one filled with both delightful diversions and deadly dangers. Oh, sex. I'm good with that. That's cool. Yeah, that's creepy, but cool. So we're going to quick travel over there, folks. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Faster for book's sake! Oh, God. We are under attack by something. Fallen knights. Why are there fallen knights all over the place? I don't understand. What is going on here? Why are you guys attacking everything? How do you wish to die? I'm just going to kill you guys then. If that's the case, I'll just come around, beat you to death. Oh, I'm getting dumb. I knew that would happen. Damn. I don't know. Oh, this must be like a blank village. I remember that. I haven't had to do something like this in a bit. Go, go, go. Let's speed up, and we're going to take care of these folks. I'll be right back. And we're going to burn them too. By the way, I'd like you all to feel, <laughs> feel it. There we go. See, we're finishing this up. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, that's right. I freed the village for you folks. With those smoking corpses over there. Don't mind them. The Morin Village. Excellent. 
All right, I will see you guys as we travel farther. All right, we are here, guys. We're finally, finally yeah. here. I'm wondering, I bet you there's no fighting here. It's probably just purely meat and guy. Come on, come hey on, there. we're getting close to that. Hi, mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are? Precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Ogeard. You? Not likely. I'm Ogeard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they are a bunch of idiots. But let's try to be friendly. You never know what we need them for. You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Algeard. Oh, I passed whatever test it was, because I'm awesome. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Hmm. Sorry about that. I got. I was drinking my cup of tea. Um, you know, I gotta admit I like it. Do have to admit that. I happen to like it. Especially the two ovoid forms. A jester. 
Good. I don't like men with no sense of humour. They bore me to death. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned, not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. What if you find out later she's like somebody trapped in there by the artist and that's how he makes his sculptures? Ataman all geared. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us. Well, we haven't a choice now. Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. All right, let's ask him about the celebration. This some special occasion? Or just feel like feasting? Every occasion's special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her! Fair Saber, I dub thee Traditiana! <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with a sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen furt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the lord of the manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Uh, let's talk about that reward first, I think. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Oh, yeah. I'll take that job, then. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Well, how come I feel like it's going to be a setup? Oh, I'm really starting to feel like it's going to be a setup, folks. Let's examine that. Eh, nothing that really would help. All right, so I think, folks, we are going to head out. Actually, looking at the clock, we are going to leave you here. Till next time, take care.